Hey there, card fighters. Blaster Dart Ren here with the first and hopefully a long series on card of the day. Today we're starting off with a common card from set 8, Blue Storm Armada, released this Friday, 3rd of May. It's a card called Psychic Grey. It's a Dimension Police Grade 1 booster. Power 6000. And its effect is auto in rear guard circle. When this unit boosts a Dementia Police Vanguard, if the power of the defending unit is 8,000 or less, the boosted unit gets power plus 4,000 during this battle. So any unit that gets attacked by something being boosted by this card, if it's got less than 8,000 power, it's getting hit for the hit the attacking monster plus 10k. This card's gonna work best of all in the Dimension Police Zeal archetype deck as most of the time that your opponent's card is going to be less than 8,000 because Zeal's just gonna lower it to that. The only time that Zeal may have a problem is against a cross ride. Getting it down to 8k might be a bit tricky. But if you're playing your cards right and you're playing it properly, I don't think even a cross ride's gonna survive much. So the plot there's two ways in which this works. Number one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay that down as in turn one behind your vanguard. Because up until grade 2, there's not going to be anything that's going to be over 8k anyway. So you're going to be hitting higher than they can with a boost anyway. When you get to grade 2, then you start having trouble. But zeal, the zeal archetype has that power to just drop that down anyway. So almost every turn with Psychic Grey as a, as a booster on your, on, your zeal, on your zeal units... There you go, you're getting the plus four extra boost, which is gonna push even the grade two zeal to 19,000 against, well, grade, the highest grade twos are 10K, so they're gonna be dropping down to seven. They're gonna be have to, having to expend a lot of their hand to guard against that one. The other way you get, the other way you, you especially want to be utilizing this is boosting things like gun rock because gun rock gets its extra 3k when again the units below 8000 so you have your gun rock it gets its extra 3 putting up to 11 and then you put the psychic gray behind it that's a 21k rear guard straight away again they're gonna have to spend a lot of defense and a lot of shield just to not let that one by. That's what the zeal line is all about. It's the antithesis of the gen of of the general play of Dimension Police, and it is going to be very anti-meta, and it is going to cause a lot of pressure. Almost all the cards you're going to use in the Dimension Police zeal deck are going to be a lot of pressure on your opponent to be utilizing their shield, and they've got to decide what damage to let through. There's probably a lot of people who are going to be thinking, okay, so there's second grade, but in step four we were given Glory Maker. How do we decide which one to use? Well, Glory Maker's all well and good in most Dimension Police decks. Glory Maker works well, but the thing with Glory Maker is you have to get up to four damage before its effect goes off. Psychic Grey can be put down immediately. Psychic Grey from turn one can be dealing all the damage, the, all the extra, all the extra power from its first turn. Glory Maker, you're going to have to let a lot of attacks through in the early game, which you don't want to be doing, to get to the four damage needed to give Glory Maker a boost. And, it, and I wonder how many of you think that four damage is getting to four damage in an early game is an acceptable trade-off to be getting an extra 4,000 power. I certainly don't. I'd rather use Psychic Grey. 
but possibly another dimension police decks, yes, Glory Maker will be more advantageous than Psychic Grey, because late game, you're in most other dimension police decks, in fact, all other dimension police decks, because uh, there is only three builds, Daisha, Enigman, and Zeal, and the other two builds, you're not going to be staying at minus, at less than 8,000 with your opponent's units for long. Because the others, they'll increase your own power instead of decreasing your opponent's. So the net, what, what else is there? Well, for personally, I recommend use three of this unit in a deck. Why not four? Well, you can't have four front row units. You can't boost four, four units at a time. So, even if you fill your back row up with Psychic Grace, that's only three. You don't need a fourth one of these. By all means, if you feel like you don't have anything else, then sure, you can use Psychic Grace, knowing that you've got something perfect to discard for your Diamond Aces. But personally, I wouldn't recommend running any less, any more, sorry, than three of these in your deck. So, that's really all I have to say about Psychic Grey, but I'm just wondering, what do you think about Psychic Grey? I'll provide a link to the card in the description so that you can take a look and, have, and see what you think of it. The artwork as well is pretty nifty. So, what do you think about the card? I want to know what you think about the card, and I also want to know what other cards you want me to discuss in this in this bit, in this series, leave any leave any suggestions for cards you want me to discuss. Not just commons, anything all the way up to triple R. I'll discuss any clan, any card, any rarity, any set. No problem. I don't have any problem with what you. This video is about what you want to see. Let me know. Subscribe up there. Leave comments down there. And if you like this, then please thumb no. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Give me a good thumbing or whatever. But, yeah, so that's going to be all for today. Tomorrow, I'll come back with another card, probably from set 8. That's all from me. I'm Blaster Dark Ren, and this has been Card of the Day, Dimension Police, Psychic Grey. Peace out. Laters.